Guys, this is it. The day of the first exam. It is the 2nd of June, it is Tuesday, and Computer Science Paper 7 is in less than three hours. It's paper seven because you do paper one and two in first year, three, four, five, and six in second year, then seven, eight, and nine in third year. I feel totally unprepared for this exam, but there's not much more I can do. The exam is not in the computer lab like it was last year, but in a building near the computer lab, so it's over on the West Cambridge site. So it's still like half an hour walk out there. People keep asking me what the exam is about, like what topics it's on, but we, we have three papers and we have 25 courses, so it's basically everything. Paper 7, the courses that I've taken are Bioinformatics, Business Studies, Comparative Architectures, Whole Logic, Natural Language Processing, Optimizing Compilers and Security 2. I'm fairly calm about this. It feels a bit wrong, maybe I should be more worried and stressed. I feel okay, it's kind of just like a normal day. I'll get my stuff sorted, make lunch and then I'm gonna head straight out to the computer lab and I'll have lunch there. I'm walking to the lab. I don't wanna like cycle and fall off or anything. I think this might be the calmest I've ever been before an exam. I think partly just in my head, I'm done. Like two days, I've, I already feel like I'm finished. It's possibly not the best state of mind. But secondly, I know these exams don't really matter to my life. Because, as I've said before, my job offer is unconditional. So regardless of how well I do today and over the next two days, I still have a job next year and probably for the next few years if I want it. And then after that, experience matters more than whether I got a 2-1 or a 2-2 this week. And finally, I do feel like I've learned a lot of computer science this year. I have learned things. I'm a better computer scientist now than I was at the beginning of the year. And definitely compared to like myself at the beginning of first year and I'm satisfied with that like I was saying the other night if I get a 2-2 that doesn't mean I haven't worked hard and I haven't learned things it doesn't mean I can't cope in the real world it doesn't mean I can't solve problems and challenges that I'll be faced with in real life jobs it just means I got some unlucky questions that I, I couldn't answer and possibly didn't revise The exam is in a building to the left down that road somewhere. I've got an hour and a half here first. Final bits of revision for this paper done. I'm gonna leave our stuff in the Intel lab now and then, then go to the exam. Can't take cameras into the exam, so I'm afraid you're staying. First exam is done. I'm actually fairly pleased with how that exam went, considering how unprepared I felt before it. Finding out how Roger did. How did it go? Not great. Just like, average. He disappeared too quickly after the exam before I had a chance to find out. Jake's one of them people that insists on going through the exam paper and pointing out everything that he got right so that you got wrong straight after <laughs> he'd done the exam. Well, as a result, I find out all the things I get wrong as well. But yeah, I thought the paper went okay. Not brilliantly. I mean, obviously I could have done better. So I am pleased with it. Unfortunately, today's paper was the best. And by that, I mean tomorrow's paper. So we have to answer five questions out of like 12 or whatever's on the paper. Tomorrow, I only have five that I can choose from because I've dropped all of the other courses. Zero choice, which is so scary and terrible. It means whatever the questions are for like comparative architectures and system on chip and topical issues, whatever the question is, I just have to answer it. I've got no choice. Awful. I'm totally exhausted, both mentally and physically. Exams just drain the energy out of me. Nevertheless, I'm gonna open a can of Red Bull and get on with revision. Nearly eight o'clock. I'm going to try to do at least three hours before I stop tonight. Because today went okay, and that's a positive thing. But tomorrow's not looking so hopeful, and I could just be dragged down so much by a poor performance tomorrow. So I want to do everything that I can now to mitigate that. To, to make sure I maintain this good grade, which I've hopefully got so far based on my project and today's paper. I think so far, I'm, I, 
I feel like I'm in 2-1 territory. Maybe maybe I'm just into the 2-1 range, but I feel like I'm I'm in there. So I want to keep myself in there. That would be great. I don't want to just ruin it all tomorrow by by not having revised enough. Two more days, less than two days. This time in two days, I will be drunk. Keep that in mind and keep going. This is today's exam paper. Just to give you an idea about how it actually went. First question, I didn't take the course, couldn't do it. Oh, sorry, that's the second question. Same applies to the first question. Third question, I loved. Bioinformatics, it was stuff that I'd revised. Five parts of the question, four marks each. Two of the parts I wasn't sure about, but I think I have just, like, written enough random stuff to pick up at least half of them. It took a long time, though. That took one hour, and we only have three hours to do five questions. So... That was the first one I did, wasn't a great start in terms of time management, but I think I picked up a decent amount of marks. I then skipped to the end and did number 12, which was on security. I just revised this like 20 minutes before the exam and that was brilliant for six marks. Part B was about locks. If you remember from months ago, I had a video where I talked about this part of the course because I thought it was ridiculous that we learn about like physical locks, like the, a key that you put in a door, th these kind of locks and master keys and how to pick locks I mean what has that got to do with computer science really but whatever it's in the course and it came up today and despite not really being much to do with Komsky I do understand it, I could remember it I could answer this part of the question, this part asked about Blaze privilege escalation, I guessed at what it was, hopefully I guessed correctly, nobody seemed to know. And then the last part was quite nice as well, just write some random stuff about the iPhone's app store. Then I did optimising compilers, turns out I did this wrong for 8 marks, but hopefully it was right enough to get maybe 5 out of 8. Wasn't sure about the end, so overall not great. But more than 50% is, is good enough to not drag me down too much. I did natural language processing. This one, again, seven marks in the middle. I didn't do seven marks worth of work there, so I've probably got like maybe two or three out of seven. But if you're comparing this to A-levels where you get an A-star, um, that's not a fair comparison because at A-level, obviously, I was aiming for 100%. But most of my maths modules, I got 100%. University, you can expect to get a lot lower. So I'm I'm not expecting to get 100%. It's not terrible if I don't. Or even 90%. I'm aiming for like 60% and above. This was one of the questions that I should have been able to do because I revised this course. I learned that I had supervisions, etc. But I just couldn't. I had no idea. So I couldn't do that one. And that is why I'm so scared about tomorrow because tomorrow, like f for the courses that I've done, I have no choice, I have to do them, even if it's a horrible question like this, which I'd have got like 3 out of 24. This question, 10 marks for this part, I didn't know what I was doing, to be honest. Massive gamble. Hopefully it paid off and I got it right. Um, otherwise that's really gonna to impact negatively on my marks. So, that is the analysis of today's paper done. Now, to prepare for tomorrow's paper. minutes to one and I'm faced with a difficult decision. I've finished almost minus like a couple of slides at the end going through information retrieval and learning everything. So because I've got no choice with the questions I do tomorrow, I want to make sure I know the courses fully. I can't have any gaps, although that's impossible for like comparative architectures and system on chip because the courses are just so big. No way I'm going to learn everything in them. Just need to be lucky, but things like IR, I can. I've been through it all tonight. I can learn everything, and then it means I can answer the question, in theory. But I haven't had a chance to go through all of the courses for which this is possible. Topical issues, I feel like I can learn everything that's in the course, um, but I haven't had time, so I need to try to do it tomorrow. The exam is in the afternoon. So I can either like go to bed now, get eight hours of sleep, but then not have much time before the exam to do anything, but I'll not be tired. Stay up later now and learn more, although that's probably the worst option because I'm not learning much now that I'm tired and it's late. Or get up early tomorrow and have like six and a half, seven hours of sleep and risk being tired but have more time to learn stuff. The sensible part of my brain says just get as much sleep as possible. 
but it would be nice to go through these courses so I know everything. Maybe some compromise, much sleep as possible, but not quite eight hours, and then just be as efficient as possible tomorrow. Maybe I'll set an alarm for eight and see how I feel when it goes off in the morning. Although, if I go by how I feel, I'll wanna go back to sleep. Tough decision, and I regret not trying to do more intensive revision earlier, although I, I think if I'd done that, I would've just forgotten the details by now. Cramming at the last minute is an important stage of revision. You need to have like a solid revision plan throughout the year, tight schedule leading up to exams, but you do need to cram knowledge at the last minute. Now this is not a substitute for learning it earlier, it's just you want to go and remember everything for every exam. Don't rely on cramming at the last minute. Don't sort of make this a vital part of the plan that previous things rely on. Don't say, I'll not do this now, I'll do this at the last minute. Do everything earlier, but then when you get to the day before the exam, acknowledge the fact that your memory is not as good as you'd want it to be. Then make use of your short-term memory. Okay, I'm going to stop vlogging because this is just taking more and more minutes out of sleep time and go to bed. I'll see how tomorrow pans out when my alarm goes off at 8. Thanks for watching.